In this tutorial, we will demonstrate the procedure for replacing the valves on the Fieldpiece S-Man manifold. The tools required for this task include a valve kit, crescent wrench, a Phillips screwdriver, and a tool for removing stickers. Now let's get started. Currently, we observe leakage from the low side of the manifold. To begin, we need to release the pressure we have inside the manifold from our testing process. Now that we have the complete valve kit, we will proceed with changing all of the valves. The valve kit includes four knobs and stickers to identify the high side, low side, vacuum, and refrigerant valves. The kit will include the proper number of valves based on your S-Man model number. First, we will focus on the low side valve that is experiencing leakage. Ensure the valve is in the closed position. Use the knife to remove the sticker and expose the screw. Next, use the screwdriver to remove the screw and take off the knob. At this stage, we will remove the valve itself. Unscrew the valve and pull it out once it is loose. Place the old valve aside. Insert the new valve into the manifold. There is no need to apply grease or silicone. Hand tighten the valve initially and then use the crescent wrench to ensure it is snug. Once the valve is secure, attach the new knob. Make sure the knob clicks into place. Once the knob clicks into place, go ahead and close the valve. Insert the screw to fasten the knob, ensuring it is snug but not overly tight. Open and close the valve to verify it is functioning correctly. Apply the low side sticker to the knob. Next, we will replace the vacuum valve. Follow the same steps. Make sure to close the valve, remove the sticker, remove the screw from the knob, and remove the old valve. Once you have the old valve removed, set that one aside. Grab a new valve and insert the new valve into the manifold. You may have to press it in a bit, but once it catches, hand tighten the valve initially and then use the crescent wrench to ensure it is snug. Once the valve is secure, screw on the new knob. Make sure the knob clicks into place correctly and the valve is closed. Insert the screw to fasten the knob, ensuring it is snug but not overly tight. Open and close the valve to verify it is functioning correctly. Apply the vacuum sticker to the knob and the vacuum port is complete. Repeat the process for the refrigerant valve. Open and close the valve to verify it is functioning correctly. Attach the sticker and the refrigeration valve is complete. And finally, we move on to the high side valve. Insert the screw to fasten the knob and apply the high side sticker to the valve. This concludes the valve change out procedure. We recommend you conduct a pressure test to ensure the valves don't leak. Follow the link to view the testing process. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.